Developed by the Consultative Group on International Agricultural Research's Climate Change and Food Security Program, in cooperation with the Walker Institute of the University of Reading and the International Center for Tropical Agriculture, the Climate Analogs tool is a novel way of connecting sites with statistically similar climates across space and time, with the aim of supporting climate change adaptation in the agricultural sector. The tool uses climate models to allow areas with climates very similar to the current or future climate of a reference site to be identified, thus facilitating the evaluation of possible transfers of technology, practices, and agricultural knowledge for improving the adaptive capacity of agricultural systems to future challenges. It is important to keep in mind that the tool is still in development and will be changing from its current version. We will explain how to use the tool with our online platform. Let's illustrate the use of the tool taking a village in west central Burkina Faso called Tugu as a reference site. Our research question is, where in the world can we currently find the projected future climate of Tugu? In the first section, labeled Select Your Location, the first step is to indicate the geographic location of the reference point for which the analysis is to be performed. This can be done either by clicking on the location on the map to generate coordinates, or by manually entering the latitude and longitude in the box. Here we enter Tugu's geographical coordinates into the boxes. After that, we need to select a climatic data zone or region. Here we will choose to run the analog analysis around the world by selecting global. However, in the future, you'll also be able to run analogs at the regional or national level. For the second section, Analysis setting, we can set the different parameters for our analysis. We first must define a key parameter, the direction in time of the analysis. Three options are available. A backward analysis, in which the future climate of the reference site is compared with the present climate of all other locations in the world. A forward analysis, in which the present climate of the reference site is compared with the future climate of all other locations or a non-directional analysis, in which the present or future climate of the reference site is compared with the present or future climate of all other locations. Here we will use the backward direction to answer the question, where in the present day can we find the future projected climate of Tugu? Next, we can choose to calculate climate similarity using either the CCAS or Halligate method, both of which can be applied on a global, continental, or national scale. Each method is based on different principles, the CCAS index calculates the climatic distance between sites, while the Halligate index is based on three rules that must be fulfilled to consider one site an analog of another. More detailed explanations can be found by clicking on the blue information icon. You can always refer to the blue information icon for more information about the meaning of each parameter. In this example, we will be using the CCAS index. You can specify a temporal scope to focus on a specific period of time. If there is interest in a specific crop, we recommend defining this period in terms of the crop's growing season. You can add different growing seasons for the same or for different crops. Let's take the example of millet, which grows in Burkina Faso approximately between June and September. You can also choose whether to select a count lag or not. Selecting a count lag takes into account the fact that seasons are not occurring at the same period of the year in the north and in the south hemispheres, and will align the months to accommodate this fact. You can define a threshold value that restricts or filters the results of the analysis to only the most similar sites. In this case, for example, we want to visualize only the top 3% of the most similar sites that will have the present climate of Tugu in the future. The last section is called Climatic Variables and Models. You will use by default here the Emission Scenario Series A1B, which is an intermediate scenario. This scenario refers to a future world of very rapid economic growth, low population growth, and rapid introduction of new and more efficient technology. In this world, people pursue personal wealth rather than environmental quality. In later versions of Analogs, you will have the choice between three different emission scenarios from the IPCC report, A1B, A2, and B1. We must also choose between the global climate model or models that we want to use for the analysis. We can choose between 24 available models or an ensemble, which utilizes the average of all GCMs. 
At the moment, the time frame for climate projections is the decade 2030. For this example, we will use an ensemble of all GCMs. Analogs allows us to select between two types of variables, climatic, which refers to temperature and precipitation, or bioclimatic, which includes 19 options that describe in detail the seasonality, extremes, and climate averages of sites. When working with bioclimatic variables, a maximum of three options should be selected using the control click command. In our example, we will select climatic variables. To select both temperature and precipitation, use the shift key. Selecting precipitation and temperature gives us the supplementary option to weight the variables according to the importance we want to give them in the analysis. Temperature is generally weighted by diurnal temperature range, which is the difference between day temperature and night temperature, and precipitation is weighted by 1. If you want precipitation to have more importance in your analysis, you can change this weight. Finally, clicking on the Run button begins the analysis. The bar that appears on the lower portion of the screen allows us to follow the progress of the calculations. It starts by loading the data during training, continues by loading the weights, and then calculates the dissimilarity values between Tugu and all other sites around the world. The results are displayed on a spectrum from low to high climate similarity, or red to green. In our example, Tegu's closest analog sites are situated around the border with the Sahel. You can adjust the opacity of the top layer to allow for more than one trial to be visible at the same time. Clicking on the checkbox in the results table will either hide or unhide a layer in the map window. It is possible to better visualize the map if we change the default base map from streets. Clicking on the blue information button brings up a dialog box with more options. The stats and inputs tab give a summary of the calculations and parameters used in the analysis. The data tab has options for downloading a report of the results, either as an ASCII grid for use as a raster GIS file or in a PDF format. Here we show you the ASCII file that you can import to GIS software and an example of the information that you can find in the PDF file. In later versions of analogs, it will be possible to export results in other formats, such as the K and Z format used by Google Earth. The R code tab displays an encoded library, which can be copied and pasted into the R environment for statistical computing to replicate the analysis locally. If you are familiar with R, you can copy this script and use it in the program. Upon finishing the first analysis, the user can make additional runs by returning to the parameters window. The final results of all runs appear in summary on the results page. Further information can be found under the help tab where users can view a list of commands for navigating the map, as well as a link to general information about the tool, including background, methodologies, and technical descriptions. If you have any questions or want to know more about the tool, please contact us.